All right, this video is going to get you going from scratch on how to access and use a program or an internet website called Socrative. So here's what you're going to do. You are typing into your Google search or whatever you prefer, but who doesn't use Google? Uh, Socrative Student Response System or audio, Audience Response System. This is, I think, uh, something that's pretty commonly used at the university level, it's going to bring you to a website that shows you the uh, kind of demo and just other things that kind of get you going. Um, so what you're going to do is uh, click on free uh, get started now and that's going to uh, walk you through uh, having this uh, installed on your computer which if you are trying to do this at school you don't have to. Uh, all you need is uh, to sign up and that is just going to be you giving them your uh, email address and just creating a password, nothing too complicated. So what I'm going to do is go into to the uh, teacher login screen, which once you've already uh, signed up, this is what you'll see once you're ready to go. So I'm going to type in the website, or the email address that I gave them. I would suggest using the same, your uh, school address, my password. Sorry, that's top secret. Then I'm going to create uh, login. Otherwise, I can go here and click on create account, which is going to get me through, you know, obviously making uh, available for me to use this. So I've already created my account. I've already signed up, registered. Then what I have to do, I'm going to go to login, which is going to take me to this screen, which is uh, actually once you are in the classroom and using this, this is the screen that you're going to see. As you can see, it's limited to 50 users. If any of us have 50 kids in our classroom, well, uh, then I guess group work is your next option, or um, you know, start filing a grievance with your union. But in any case, uh, this is what you're going to possibly be using here, and uh, there's a few different options for this. Uh, you could have the kids looking at a worksheet, and all you're doing is bringing up um, the multiple choice. And so what they see on their screen, if this is on a computer or on their phone, you can get them to go on their uh, smartphone or they can download. There's actually a Socrative student app that they can get. And that way they are just accessing it that way. Uh, but in any case, you would have uh, students logged in, number of users, and uh, as the kids are answering A, B, C, D, E, or whatever, uh, the choices come up here. So how many, it's kind of be like uh, polling the audience and who wants to be a millionaire. All the choices would come up and how many uh, students chose each of those choices. Oops, I want to end the activity. I don't know what just happened there. Sometimes it kind of freaks out, but no big deal. It's very uh, reliable and very useful. Uh, what I've been using it for lately is true-false, giving them, giving the students a true-false kind of introductory, a worksheet introductory lesson to a new unit. And so pretty simple, their phone or laptop computer would have uh, true or false options on the screen looking very similar to these but this button right here. It'd just be a blue button saying true and a blue button saying false. And then again, once you give the kids enough time, which is generally about 10 or 15 seconds, enough time to respond, they're clicking their buttons on their phone or laptop. You're going to come up with a graph of the uh, amount of true or false uh, responses. And then you just kind of use that how you would, um, going over it in class, so whether that's a quick discussion, checking just to make sure that they get it. If you get 100% right, you can pretty much move on to the next, kind of uh, would be up to you. Uh, their short answer responses, they you'd have to kind of uh, play with this to see what you would uh, like to use this for. Uh, selecting start quiz, uh, which is what you would be using if you have already uploaded a quiz into the system. In other words, you would, so I have a couple of things uploaded already, but uh, you know, something from last year. But uh, So here's demo quiz. You can um, kind of choose how you do this. There's a report when you're done, so kind of giving you a, uh, telling you how the kids did. Or live results would be another option. Uh, so that's to quiz, and again, you would have to upload a pre-made quiz uh, into the website already, which is actually pretty easy to do anyways. Um, exit tickets, space race, these are just things that I don't really use, but you can get an idea of what these are. It's just a uh, Space races just be a quiz as a game, so this would be good for uh, review, doing this for uh, review for a test. And then just some other options that you can kind of fool with as you 
I need to. Your room number that you create is, as long as it's not used by someone else, is you know, whatever room number you want. So I've just chosen my uh, last initial and my actual room number in the building, which is 212. So just uh, to make it easier for the kids maybe to remember or whatever uh, to use it. Uh, typically I use this in class, but uh, there is also the option of using this out of class if you were on Haiku doing some kind of online discussion or something, uh, live discussion. You could uh, be using this too. Uh, kids could use it at home. Uh, so that's your kind of brief run through of the website Socrative. And I hope you find it useful. I, I think I think once you just kind of mess with it a couple times, then uh, I think you'll find that the kids enjoy it. And watching the results come up uh, gives them an idea, but then obviously most useful for you to get an idea of kind of gauging how they've how they've done on whatever you've given them. This could be a quiz. This could be a group activity. Like I said, true/false. There's a bunch of different options that you could actually use this for.